We are back with more amnesia and I forced the raccoon to go back because I was sure there was something in these rooms and sure enough, there was something. Apparently the, what I thought was a monster was actually just light playing tricks on my head. But for future reference, one of those rooms leads to nowhere, one of those doors is jammed and this is the third. So let's start with them. Let's start with them. You say that as if you're going to play through this game again. <laughs> And oil, and what do we have here? 9th of August, 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Well then, uh, now there's two levers. It's not I'll sure what they do. Something must be wrong with the machinery. Nope, neither of those work. Okay, so this is for later then. Not sure if doing that smaller monster or not, so. That would be kind of a dick move since you only have one real way to go, and that's to a gripper, and he can't really save us. Of course, a gripper can save us. A gripper's a man, a manly man. He'll throw his missing jar at them. <laughs> Some really people bad. laugh at me for being tied up and being unable to move. What they do not know is that I have a superpower. I am Boomerang Jawman. Ah, Boomerang Jawman. Don't worry, Griffin. I Yo. still respect you. The jar always comes back, but it never attaches. Sad. It was a freak accident. There was an experiment and everything. Okay. See what it was, that shovel right there? Um, Alexander called it fun times, happy times. A gripper called it, ow, my face, ow. <laughs> Just throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mean. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I only barely missed. Yeah. Also, if you poke Shut up or something, he's gonna tell you what it was about. Hey! Shut up. If you look around, you'll find out. Be nice to him. Okay. Uh, so where? Like he said, you have to go to the transit and the choir to find the missing old pieces. Grippa, shut up. <laughs> the orb he found spared his life. Should that one open out the Oh, those doors must open these doors. Because that lines up 2-2. Two, two. Possibly. I'm brilliant. So, so I guess you have to go to the place that scared you. Remember, raccoon is just a game. How many cinder boxes do you have? Thirty-eight. And four fingers <laughs> of oil. Once you stop using them, it's really easy to save them up. Way to state the obvious there, buddy. <laughs> okay, this looks a little too convenient, just saying. Ah, fun time, happy room for Daniel. It's, it even has a bed. That's... 
Yeah, I can have. I guess it's a, it, it was a bed for someone. Not somewhere I sleep, mind, but you know. I also have unreasonably high standards. Don't you? Yeah. I'm just not satisfied with a few straw. This is not satisfied with anything. I was about to say a few straws of straw, but that was grammatically incorrect, so that sentence just kind of died on its own. Okay, we'll go here. Uh, chancel. What's that? That's not where you're supposed to go yet. Uh, that's the final room where Alexander is. You have to go to the transept and the choir first, I believe. So I can't open it, in other words? Uh, I don't know. Try I'm it. Try. I'm gonna try. Oh, I can go in. Oh. A grub is behind you shouting, Nedwit. Well, I don't know. If I can get through this game quickly, yeah, that's all fine with me. You can't enter the fun room without the orb, so. What happens if I try? Not to spoil anything, but you won't get to there. Uh, the final room is blocked by electricity because if you don't have an orb, you aren't getting through. Oh. Oh, this is creepy looking. I like it. Oh god, there are monsters there. I thought you said they were the orbs dealies, not. Alexander's. So why are they guarding Alexander? Hmm. The monsters? Yeah. Well, Alexander has an open, he has control of it. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Fucking hell, Alexander. What about it? Torturing people? Not even nice uh, torture. Uh, the fuck? <laughs> just, just, just the fuck? Is that a lump of meat? Uh, you needed to make the poison to save a gripper. Interesting. I mean potion, right? Yeah. No, you and potion mean either. poison. What did I say? You said poison. Oh yeah, potion, poison, you tonic, fact, whatever. Mean, you in fact do mean poison though. Do I? Yes. Okay, where the hell do we go? I mean, we can't go that way. Through the thing, right? And there's nothing at either side of the things. It's just this. I'm lighting this. Uh, measure. I guess once the grabber stops talking, it's gonna be a jump cut to when we find the door to the chancel or the, qu or the uh, transept. Yep. Fire, dearly. What the fuck did I just find? What did you just find? Fix something. Ooh. Hey guys, I fixed something. I didn't even mean to. And all I have to do is jump on this torture chair table, dearly. I am huh. so brilliant. Just saying. Now I can open those two doors. Aren't I amazing? That may... That may just be what you need. Indeed. You are a very special snowflake. I am the most special snowflake. All that the snowflakes pale in comparison to my uniqueness. Okay, switch time. Mm, 
drink that in. Nice. Sanity. Mmm. Delicious. I am now 3.4% sane. Lovely, lovely. You may Most say that's sane not enough. Of Brandenburg, next to Dead. You have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Yo, Alexander seems oddly kind to Daniel. The same. He had to make Alexander. Uh, blah, blah. He had to be kind to him in order to help him make him help the dealies. Hmm. Oh, Don't tell me we're back to playing this game again. <laughs> okay, so we have two ways to go. Yeah. Torture chamber number one, torture chamber number two. Yeah. I guess you could say that Alexander is a good case of a bad man with good manners. Right. Indeed. Just because he's evil doesn't mean he has to be rude. You know, when you lean like that, I always think you're about to tell low because you lost all your sanity. Well, you do have a good reason to think that. Okay, got a room. Got quiet and progress deal. You may want to light the torch in the way you have way more tinder boxes than you have. Uh... Take a look. Go for it. Oh, study of some sort. Got a candle in here? Oh, yeah, do, do. Thank you. Let's see what we got in here. In the box. Lord and order them. <laughs> uh, drugs. I do love drugs. Uh, Sophia can feed to a gripple later. <laughs> Ooh, memory dealy. Ah, tinder box. Okay, that's two tinder boxes. So I gotta clean my third here. <coughs> okay, that's two tinder boxes, a note, and a memory dealer. Let's take the memory dealer first. In court, the order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in their silent cower before regaining the senses. They all know I am the one. And the same Alexander, who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away. Well, I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. The fuck? Basically, Alexander is fucking old. <laughs> Alexander is so old. He makes a gripper look. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know for a fact, a gripper is older. <laughs> this is something. This is something I'm not sure I want to know. That's what this is. Eh. Long. Yes. D d d do you wanna. you know. Uh, you, you don't want to. No. A gripper channels Vaya. Vaya taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still, he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such a lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is, and has been, for centuries, my only link to the worlds beyond. Vaya claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but if he needs me to give him Agrippa first, so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it, I shall prepare for his release. 
To release a gripper without killing, Viad told me to feed him a tonic made from Paralyzer, Vitae, and Tampeter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer. If I can find the internal gland from a large specimen, the choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its content with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from an agon any agonized human victim's blood. I just need a large amount to still it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling camp. I will have to address Vaya with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The can is the water monster. Oh, so I need water monster droppings. Uh, water monster drool. That's why I got the meat. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that means there's gonna be a water monster nearby, eh? In a well. Well contained. <laughs> oh, god damn. Bouncing balls. <laughs> He's a good little bouncing ball. He's a good little mass murderer. They just want to bounce all over me, I know it. Uh, eat my flesh. See, the thing <laughs> is, the water monster... Okay, heard things. So the thing is, the water monster... Actually, all it does is it gnaws your ankles off. It eats the rest of you later. And then... Yeah, it waits for you to topple over. Once you fall, it starts with the innards. Those are delicious. Nom nom nom. I hate those. Those are progress. I still don't know if I hate the ones that open more or if I hate the ones that don't. What's this now? Oh, is this a torture room? Mm-hmm. Also, look at the floor. Ooh, Cryptic pentagram. magic jelly. It's a pentagram, guys. Black magic going on in here. Just feels so right. <laughs> you shouldn't let the viewers know about your hobbies. Um, uh, well, there are no hobbies. There is Wait, only there. Daniel. Nudge, nudge. Doors are the, like, the thing that normally kills me in this game, yet I'm still not careful around them for some reason. Yeah. Oil? Okay, no oil. What's that? From August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Uh, no flashback. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Oh. Hurry. A dagger. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Interesting. So we're gonna have to stab this fellow. Oh. What a pretty tattoo. Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines. Take the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. Hush, hush, now you see. Well, one life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Ah, creepy. By that I mean I love Daniel. He's so great. 
Asana, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Look, rose petals. <laughs> Diana must have made love to a woman here as well. If by made love you mean stabbed her with a dagger. And uh, I'm not sure. I mean, look at all these candles. Ain't the flesh. Cut the lines. Look at all these candles. And then there was the rose petals. This is definitely where Alex, uh, where Dan made love to a woman. Maybe Alexander did. Maybe is Alexander it? made love to Daniel. Oh God. Uh, oh. Ew. But Daniel has either a, way. No homo thing going on. You went there before, buddy. And you have no nick on your chest. Have fun. It's like a pendulum. This might just be a little morbid. Not the worst thing I've done. There's another one here. Yeah. This See, one has um... a fire or a child. I can't tell. Daniel has an impressive body count just to save himself from the orb. And your sanity is as low as it gets. That's why there are bugs crawling across my screen. These different torture chambers don't do good things to his sanity. I see. Yeah. Fun part of the game's going quiet, main hall. And now it gets scary. Scary? Why? Will there be monsters? Uh, I mean, th things can kill you now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You were in a safe room. I was in a safe room. Fuck. Can I go back to the safe room now? Uh, you need to progress. Oh, this place. I love this place. My sign is... What are my, my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. Oh god. Can we go back? Can we go to a different room? You can go to the transit first if you want to. Let's go to the transit first, because that place creeps me out too much. I do, in fact, hate that tint. It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Oh, Alexander. You just love to throw the blame around, don't you? We have to go back to the uh, quads to get the poison gland from the fungus. Don't worry. I'll get it. But not right now. Let's take a look at this other way. Uh, hey, Agrippa, see, that place over there is fucking scary, so we're gonna go that way. You realize they're mortals. Shut up, Agrippa! Agrippa, we don't have time for this. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the dead dead. Bleach. Find the ingredients that prepare the tonic via this guy. And do so before you assemble the orb. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the orb, you won't be able to save me. Yes, sir. Note. I think we should do it. Yep, we'll do it. Read no the, read the, if, you, if you read the note, then you don't have to do progress. I think it's in the memento. Yeah. Agrippa, the dying man, wants a specific tonic made to save him. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shattered pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms. So I can't put all the pieces together. That's basically it, right? Doesn't matter if I get them all. Right? What makes you think that? Remember one of the very first notes? Yeah. The all pieces, all pieces fit together unnaturally. They they will force themselves to fit together. They just work together. 
Oh, yeah. If you get all but... six, if you get all six, they're gonna magic up together. Oh. Water monster rope. Uh, Out. Oh, we have a torch. So. Good job down there, buddy. You have water monster saliva. Good job. Ah, yes. I am personally a fan of the water monster. And I think this is where we can end the episode for now. How are things coming? But we barely made any progress. Yeah, but we've been doing this for actually over 30 minutes. Okay then. Fair enough. Then we're gonna... You're gonna rush through the choir and the transit next time. Exactly. Not really. We should, we should take time. These areas are fun. I love them so much. In other words, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Maybe. So until next time, this has been the Snarky Raccoon here with Coffee Holic, and have a pleasant day. Bye,